Hello there and welcome to Degore's Grotto. My name is Andy and uh, this is the second round of the Tiki Hut Cup. Tiki Hut Cup. Um, we are playing uh, with our Wood Elves, um, with the Scarlet Scouts and uh, this is how we're lining up. Just to show, we've actually got eight players now, nine players now. So Scarlet, our block dodge leader, Wood Elf, uh, our rookie tree man, our two war dancers, one with strip, one with frenzy, glam and glam son of glam, um, our very well developed uh, catcher, our flame, um, with sure feet and sprint now uh, and sidestep, so very much a one turner. Uh, if we could just get a movement on there, it'd be amazing. Um, a block witch, a uh, blodge witch, and uh, and, a, and a rookie catcher as well, and then two liners. Um, we took on um, the journeyman lino last week because he snuffed up the uh, MVP as they do. And we are playing um, a necro team, which is a bit disgusting. Uh, we've got two block tackle um, uh, werewolves, one with edge. Two agi tackle uh, whites. One that's just about to lo uh, to level up as well. Uh, the array of zombies as we normally would. He's missing one ghoul, so he's got one there. Um, but with these wolves and these whites, that's not really a problem, is it? And he's got both his fleshies. One with guard, so he's only got one guard, which is in a way good for us. Um, but this is a very well developed team he will be giving us some tv so we will be looking at taking uh, a 12th player uh, i normally take willow um, which will give us a bit of strength against those golems um, and uh, and those wolves so that's the team uh, that we're facing um, if we win this one we go through to the final of the cup um, if we don't uh, this team hopefully won't be too smashed up and we can go into the second season of the Tiki uh, Bad Moon Bowl. Okay, uh, I'll pause the video here and then we'll crack on when the guy comes online. All right, guys, so it looks like our um, our opponent's online, so we're going to send out the invite. Um, this is being cast on uh, Twitch um, by uh, Tiki himself, so him and Iron Sirius will be um, commentating on the game itself. So, right, we're going to see what he's doing. His team has got some issues around the ghoul. His ghoul is out. Um, it doesn't look like he's fired him, and he's putting 70k, uh, putting 70k back in. So yeah, he isn't running a bench. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look at the opposing team again because he's not running a bench. Just wanted to see what he's taken. He has taken the mighty blow, which is what I was worried about. But he's not running a bench, uh, so he's running 11 players. So his dirty player is kind of counteracted. Uh, but my two journeymen. Really? 70, 70. It's only given me 30k, so I can't scum any players. That's annoying. Right, so we'll just go for it. I could have scummed a bribe, uh, a babe, I guess. Um, that would have taken me, but I'm trying to save up for uh, for more players. So that does surprise me that my TV is now. High enough to not get Willow. Oh, that is a shame. I thought I was. Um, I thought I was close. So I'm. I can't run a bench either, um, which is not good for us. Um, just on the sort of, uh, on the sort of thoughts of uh, of a bench uh, of Tiki streaming it. I will be watching it back, so it'll be quite um, interesting to see. Uh, how it works. See how th what they think as we go through. So we don't need any of that. So he's going for his defence. Uh, wants me to do my offence. So we could go through in the middle, um, or we could just piss about with it in here. I'm a bit worried about these walls, so. That's always a concern. I'm definitely worried about these. So maybe we hit those. 
maybe we don't or maybe we just play our game see he's fast enough to react to whatever we do so do we do an elf screen and then run round it or do we just play through the middle and get crushed in the middle by two very quick because then we'd have to put the screen over both sides which isn't really going to work so I th think what we do is we piss ass about with it and then break round we need to to kill off these dudes really which is going to be interesting I'm not sure I want to do that with a frenzy um, dancer so let's get the basics done first we'll get our tree in he definitely needs to be hitting people definitely um, so maybe we take this side on and force the white to to come over to that side uh, we definitely don't want our catcher on the line of scrimmage we definitely don't want our catchers on the line of scrimmage Definitely don't want our catches on the line of scrimmage. So we'll have Scarlet down here. So right, let's sort this out now. Um, so that's who we really want to score with. Try and get our, our rookie elf up a little bit uh, and get some points. We don't really want to score with her. We do want to score with her. Him, and we do want to score with him really if we can I'd love to give him a punch in the face I really would so I think what we can do is try and get this guy to run around I've got to be careful with the blitz so we could hit there and then dodge through he's got tackle swing if we hit him that way see how it goes So hit that one there. Obviously we don't want a blitz, which is what we normally get. Oh blimey, okay so. Mm-hmm. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. 
just take the two on him. Alright sports fans, let's get this show on the road. Regen that, that's fine. So, no, he doesn't regen it. Okay, so that's his bench gone completely. Um, right, so really, we want that there. No, we don't want him there. We want him. Weirdly, do we want him there? I think we do because we want him there. No. Uh, right, so uh, we want to do. No, because he's got tackle, isn't he? Oh, shit. Right, I'm going to re roll this if it goes badly wrong. But it doesn't. No, not on the tackle guy. Oh no. Oh, I got away with that. I really got away with that. I am kind of getting away with that, really. So that was the dodgiest thing I've done in I don't know how long. Uh, right, so let's... Uh, oh my goodness, that was my heart stopping. Uh, we can do the two dice here. So, sorry for the quiet. Um, it's kind of been scaring the pup out of me, to be honest. So that's more, and then we can just kind of do this, and then go kind of there as well. Okay, so we've got a screen, and we've got another screen as well, so that's not bad. Uh, our tree is exposed, but if he wants to try and block my tree, then he can with the mighty blow, uh, not the mighty blow. With the uh, claw wolves, he could have a go at the tree. He's going to have to commit a lot of resources to it and ignore the fact that I'm going to score. Um, we're going to score on our good, the guy that we need to, which is the most important thing, really. Looks like he's going to try to respond, um, probably with this wolf here. Um, that was a lot of dice rolls, it was scary as fuck because there was lots of three pluses um, and obviously I didn't dodge as well as I could have done. I didn't use one of my rerolls which is the most important thing really. Um, 
but we needed to move the tackle white this way which was fine um, we made, needed to move him out of the way definitely so I couldn't score anyway but yeah I didn't want to roll extra dice for him so yeah we've got a screen it's not a great screen Um, I'm not going to stall it out, so he's either going to hit me or he's not. Um, and obviously, we can pick up any loose, loose ball with the with glam and score on him, and I'm happy to score on him as well. So, yeah, he's got a tackle guy or my frenzy guy. Absolutely, he's going to use his wolf there, which is the right thing to do. Uh, probably going to hurt me and injure me. Yeah, there we go. Oh, KO'd. Wish I bought that babe now. <laughs> Wish I'd scum that babe. So the wolf is going to be this wolf is going to be the the blitz. Maybe just to try and base me up a bit. I don't know. So he's going to have to come through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can get to here. Uh, I think it was relatively safe to leave the the tree out because he'd have to commit lots of resources to killing it. I probably would have done that instead and just tried to get rid of a major thorn in their side or what might have been a major thorn in their side so you know he's got tackles so it's going to negate my dodge so it's literally just blodge versus blodge here we go it's a push but it's a frenzy push so off he goes and he gets the one in nine, which is perfect for us unless he re-rolls it. He doesn't, which is the right thing to do. What's he going to do with his ghoul? Is he going to do anything with his ghoul? No is the answer. So, for me, what do I do? I can't, I can try to get rid of this wolf, maybe? I've got a spare guy over here. Maybe just do a quick hit on the wolf. If it doesn't work, we'll score. Can we roll any skulls? Or we just score. And it's block versus block, isn't it? Or we could try and take out just another zombie. Or his ghoul. And he's gone for the one here. I think it's probably worth the blitz if nothing else. I can't do nothing with these guys, so there's no point. I don't want to do anything with this guy because there's no point. I mean, I suppose I could. Oh, I could. I could do the quick golem hit. I'd rather get rid of his wolf though, to be honest. If we're gonna do it. do that and make it a two dice again two dice versus block though but we'll give it a go no we're batting back to him we're not going to get any additional dice on him are we so i think we just go for it just to rub it in his face i'm going to do it right in the middle on the v for vendetta Okay, I could have got loads of other blocks, I'm not going to risk it, I've only got two re-rolls, uh, that's the play is, is not to try and, so is he going to stay off, yeah he is, so it's even Stevens into his drive, which is annoying, now, we need to pop him on the line, um, we Definitely don't want him there. So uh, what we're going to do then? We will. He's got frenzy, isn't he? So shall we do that? Um, 
he's our guy, isn't he? He's going to get a smack in, really. I can't see what else we can do. Um, he will obviously try a wolf hit. So maybe what we do then is we just, uh, if we can put our sidestepper over here on the line of skirmish, and then um, and put a strip guy here. Yes, I know. And then just him over here, and then him over here. I'm not really worried about that huge gap there, are we? No, and we kind of leave it like that, really. I don't want to um, too much. We can invite the charge down here if we like, really. We could put him kind of here. And then kind of invite this, this flank here and see if you take it and then go for the second score. See if he stalls out a little. Um, this isn't too bad. I'm obviously waiting for either the mighty blow hit on the dancer. We need to to we need to cancel this dude very much. So you know, very much cancel that dude. Be lovely if we get a blitz now, and then just pretty much get rid of this guy if we can so what we'll kick kick deep into here or kick here or maybe even kick here like we say we're inviting this down here aren't we so we'll kick here kind of encourage him to come down looks like we're not trying to encourage him to come down but actually encourage him to come down like kick there hit this dude change sides Hit this side. Mm -hmm. I, I really want him dead because he's got mighty blows, so he's going to take the piss out of my armor. Um, and then this guy can go after, so he's the target every time. So if I get a blitz, it's got to be him, even if it's just a one dicer. So I think we hit it there. Thanks, Kick, for being shit. Oh, Blitz. We do get a Blitz. So, I think that's what we do then. We have to kind of use him to go to here. The Frenzy comes this way. To there and there and there. So, we really need, because he's going to... So, maybe we get um, Scarlock. No, we can have you... Here, we got to put pressure on the ball, which we've got to do really. Pressure has got to go on the ball, hasn't it? Okay. Um, let's do the blitz. Oh, thank God. Oof, that's one removed, which is a relief. Uh, do we then go leap or do we dodge no because we've got dodge with dodge haven't we oh no because he's got tackle so it doesn't really matter um what we do and then over to here 
Perfect. Um, and then do we tag this guy out with one of our baby catchers? Or Scarlock? Baby catcher. Scarlock then. Bit dangerous giving him a tag. Especially on such an important piece. But he hasn't got Mighty Blow now. Put pressure on that ball. There we go. Okay, so good blitz for us. Thank God it wasn't a touchback. My goodness. I didn't even think about the touchback. That was crazy. I don't know why I did that. That was crazy, but we've put pressure on the ball, which is great. So now he has to react to the ball um, in his own half. This is annoying for him because he's going to have to deal with Scarlet. I don't, re I didn't really want to put my. I should have put him over there really, and put Scarlet on there because we're always going to move him off. That would have been better. Um, just my kick, dude, and then he could have taken the hit. But you know, that's at the moment that's one dice, isn't it? Two dice will means he has to move someone else over here to get rid of him. He's got to pick the ball up. He does. This has got to be his area. Or is he going to throw? Maybe I should have come here. To the intercept. Four plus passes, no matter what he does. He fails, and this is where we need him to fail again. And he fails. It is inaccurate. He doesn't catch it. That's annoying for us, but not horrendous. So what we need to do is we need to get the ball and then throw it. So I think we take out him. We get this guy over here. Um, so he can go over here. We use our frenzy guy to move him back this way, and then we get our glam, son of glam, over here. So uh, we on oh, Kaya Stonwich. Uh, this is the fucking issue, isn't it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and maybe we throw it back here instead. Uh, okay, let's think about this. So I think we hit him because he's annoying. Or do we? Do we need to? That's the other question, really. Do we need to? Yeah, because I think we can get the ball up here somewhere, can't we? Should we do that? Um, so what we need to do is just make sure um, we've got people there just in case. So let's do that there. It's a good hit. How far can she come across? Quite far. So this is putting a lot of... Uh, pressure on the catcher so let's do that now I think we re-roll this if it fucks up is that three plus pass with no pass re-roll it if it fluffs yeah good
Um, we haven't got any... Not going to re-roll that. He's got low now. I'm not going to do it. That's fine because he's tagging him and these guys are tagging these. So it's only these three guys who can do anything. The ghoul can probably come through here with dodge. He can put some pressure on. Uh, the white can do a one, two, three, four. So he can get to there. They can probably hit him and then put some pressure on his tackle. But he's the extra there, isn't he? So... He can dodge through to there to put some pressure on the ball. It's a 3 plus dodge though. He has got a re-roll. He's, yeah, he's probably the better one. Um, obviously it'll be two dicer on with tackle. I have got sidestep. So, you know, I don't know why... Why doesn't he just do it? It's two dice, I'm strength two. Why do the extra dice rolls? To be honest, this is just a bonus, isn't it, really? I'll stand up your wall first. Not sure I'd start rolling dice just yet. Him up, him through, hit him or her, because I'm counting her as female because of the law, the Warhammer law. Um, yeah. I had to move this guy here really just to give him some safety but I'm hoping that if he gets some poor rolling here what's he what's he hoping to do that's the play that is always the play so he's, he's got lucky on his dice there he didn't get lucky there he really he needed to to sack me there I think I would have re-rolled that because now I can just punch him off he's going to try and put him on but I only need him gone. I only I only need him out of the way. So at the end of the day that's all that needs to happen. Is he gonna try and found my tree? Right, he uses the golem. No, he's gonna put that that's he doesn't need to do that, it's strength two, dude. Oh no, it's not strength three. He's my thrower, isn't he? Yeah, that's the right play, isn't it? Try and kill my wood off. And I'm not even looking, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. Oh he got away with it. And then a punch here. No, he's gonna put him there. Or is he gonna try and He is gonna try and mark out the catcher. So I'm just gonna Yeah, I'm just gonna two dice him there. That's all I can do, and that was a good hit on him there. Wince, because every time I do, I worry that we'll lose a player. No, perfect. Right, so that's his moves. Um, I'm. What do I do here? Try and stand up a tree. No. No, I don't want. Don't want to do that. Uh. going to do that. Um, I'm going to leave those guys lying down to be honest. Um, I'm not going to do that yet. I want to be there with the catcher. I actually want to go yeah there. That's perfect because I want to go here really. But that's fine by me. That's absolutely fine by me. And then I'm going to go there. I'm going to use dodge. Thankfully. And then we get the 2 0. Lucky blitz. Very lucky blitz. I never normally get the blitz. Uh, normally the blitz is blitzing against me. Oh shit, he got him back. I do get my guy back. Right, so that was that was horribly worrying, um, as always. So I I have got a player back. Um, 
and now he can go and protect my uh, war dancer there and uh, that's kind of protected there isn't it so I don't want to be served now this may look a bit weird in fact what we can do is push him back a little bit because if he goes for him then we can sidestep round and then we can kind of invite them in here a little bit that's absolutely fine I think we'll switch those around so that he goes to there and he goes to there I think we'll switch him around because what we do want to do is we want to use we want to use him as a surf rep don't we so um, you know this is the this is the nice inviting open bit isn't it really so we'll, we'll kind of invite him down here in which case we probably want to do that and then he's the surf rep so he can come down here and surf rep um, and him a bit more there, a bit more central. So that's the play. A blitz again would be nice. I'm really sorry for my opponent. That was that was horribly jammy, horribly jammy. Um, he did get his mighty blow by guy back, which I'm devastated about. So he's going to choose to come down this side. So that's that's okay. So we've deliberately left that side open so that's the side that we're gonna um, we're gonna kick to to there I think we'll just leave the ball there and it's a nice neutral uh, neutral um, kickoff event this time um, So this time we're going to feel the mighty blow uh, hit, uh, which gets me, which is is horrible. Uh, so close your eyes, because hopefully it's not going to kill me, but it will. Oh, this is going to be horrible. Oh no, no. Okay, so he's going to go for the tree now. Definitely going for the tree now. Yeah, here we go. And then he's got a dirty player. That wasn't his dirty player, was it? Oh, it was his dirty player. Oh, wow. Uh. That's... Right, so he's, he's now can, he can now do the frenzy, but if he doesn't get it, I mean, I will allow myself to be pushed back. 100%. Oh, okay. He's not doing what I think he was I thought he was going to do. So he, he's not taking the bait, which is this open flank, which is lovely. It doesn't look like he's taking that. Four, five, six, seven. So he has got enough to hit my tree with the flesh golem. I mean, if he's going to knock me down anyway, I will go there. But is he going to go? It'd be three, four, five, six, seven. So he could afford to do it and try for the claw. Um, and I will allow myself to get pushed there, and then he will be down to an uphill dice if he just pushes. I don't think I would have hit with here. I would have probably gone for the flesh golem um, and left my dirty play to foul the tree afterwards if it goes down. But there you go, because that's you know that's a, a threat. He's not a great threat, or he certainly hasn't been in my games. I think the stun has been the best he's done. Oh no, he's managed to get two injuries, isn't he? Because four star five points. Okay, so yeah, he has he's started to come down this side. Then that's that's fine. And there's his, uh, oh he's gone for the niggled, yeah, there we go, there we go, it's about time that armour started to fold a little bit. Scout number two has gone down, just make sure, can still got me? Yep, sorry after I adjust I've got to do it. Uh, yeah, so he picks up the ball, no he doesn't, that's his Agi 4 wolf as well, not picking up the ball.
so I think we've got to put pressure on that ball first that's got to happen I think we can do that with um, so there's the tree hit the tree hits gonna hit him there I think we hit the goal with the tackle with the tackle and then put pressure on the wolf on that side so the tackle dancer goes around here hits him we do that because that's one square further that way See, we're going to have to put pressure on the ball now, aren't we? Do we actually... Yeah, we do. No, we don't. That, that worries me that we're going to do that. Now we're leaving ourselves up to a lot of hits, which is not what we want to do, really. Six. Should give us three dice. No. Six, seven. Why is that still only giving me two dice? It's only strength three, right? Ah, oh, I didn't get it. No, because he's a loner. And I carry myself. Brilliant. Never mind. I wanted to get three dice on the on the white, but that's just the way it is. Should have put him here instead by the mighty blue. Oh, uh, because of him. The fucking flesh column. I couldn't see him. Never mind. Right, that's fine. That's not horrible. Because he's got to try and rescue the ball as well, because otherwise I'm going to screw him. So that's the blitz, isn't it? Good. So it's him safe. Now he uses that to... What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's only going to get to there. He can't use that for his blitz. It's that, I suppose, can get out of the way. The ball's not secure, not by a million miles for this guy. He's got his dodge dude here. I think I'd have re-rolled the pickup, to be honest. Right, he's still trying to solve the tree problem. That, mate, is not your problem. Going 3-0 down is your problem. Because I've got a dancer with no one tagging him. I'm worried about him. But you've got, I've got a dancer here that no one's tagging. That's a good shout because he gets two dice on him. He can come up here and then maybe sprint the rest of the way. That's a good hit for me. I'm going to take the both down. I think I'd probably take the both down and keep my dancer pinned there. 
but no, he's done it that way. That's okay, because he has got tackles, so he's, he's thinking that I don't want to dodge out, which is right, I don't. He's going to try and cover him here, maybe? No, he's going to... Oh, he's going to... One, two, he can't surf him. He's not going to anyway, because he's tackled him, and he doesn't break armour, which is great. So this is still a knotty problem for him. Is he going to dodge try and pick up? He is. 2 plus 2 plus. It's a good shout, isn't it? He has failed the pick up though, but he has to pick this up. He does. And then he can run down this side here. But I have got strip ball and he hasn't got sure hands. And wherever he goes, he's going to be in range of my strip elf. So at the moment he's in range of him. That's fine. He needs to solve this problem now, doesn't he? Is he going to hand off to the... Is he going to hand off to the edgy white? No, he isn't. So he's still got a bit of a problem over here, isn't he? Whereas, I've got a few more options that I can do. We've got this guy who can come over here. This guy can come over here, and then we can hit him with the strip elf. So there's his dirty player, so not worrying about that hitting the tree. He's got one dice on Scarlock. Four, five, six, four, five, six. So it'd be one dice with the column. And he's already used his reroll as Scarlock bursts free. And that's my thrower who has burst free, which is great. So, how do we solve this particular problem here? We need to hit him with our strip ball. We've got this dude who's in the way. That's worrying. Scarlet is free. That's not going to help. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still not going to help. So I think the play really is dodge with dodge to here. So we do. Strip ball and hit here. You've got to because that's the only way, which is a pain. We do get the strip ball, we won't follow up. Uh, that's fine. He's got tackle on both of those, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So we could go here, 3 plus pick up, so maybe what we do is, get him up, him into there because he's got dodge with dodge, we can 2 dice this zombie, no we still can't 3 dice this zombie. Because of that golem. We've still got to do that, haven't we? Dodge with dodge. Three dice this zombie. Because why not? Stay where we are. Five plus pass. Elf doing elf things really and I think we need to go there with him don't we
yeah, I can't see what else we can do really. Uh, oh, the golem can come up there. It's not ideal. We can potentially score a third. Potentially. we just got to survive whatever he throws at me now. So this one here. Probably a bit of a frenzy trap. No. So he's going to two dice the kicker no matter what, isn't he? With his tackle wolf. But the spill's not going to hurt us. And we can always try and leap strip ball. We've got two rerolls, we've got two turns. Scarlet's in a good position to, to pick up on the loose ball. We can always try and hit the tree, can't we, with the ghoul? I wouldn't bother. The tree's a bit of a red herring, really. Um, so we've got two scoring threats here, although they're a bit too close together for my liking. Uh, I don't want to score a glam on glam, really, but... So, is two dice into here? Two dice there. Oh, he pushes me. Oh, okay. Very nice. He's going to sideline charge me with him. But then the ball's going to go. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. But yeah, okay. So he's going to come this way instead. Who's he going to hit with? I'd hit with the, with the wolf. Just because you don't want the double push, double push. He can't surf me yet. I would have tried to surf me personally. That's the good hit. That's the right hit. Oh, and he's not caught the ball. Please don't catch the ball. Please don't catch the ball. Please don't catch the ball. Please definitely don't catch the ball. That's perfect. Is he going to try and come around and get it or is he going to get the white to do it? Yeah, he's going to get the white to do it. We've still got plenty of guys around that we can start screaming at him with it. <sighs> tackle, we've both got tackle. These are the problems. These, these guys with tackle are killing me, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof. He's horribly far away, and I can't do nothing about it. So, that could be two dice. With Glam, Son of Glam, or Glam. Glam, Son of Glam is over here. I just, I need to stop this, and I can do, if I can pull him free. So, pull him free, and then Scarlet does the hit. From here, we need to do something about these walls then, so that we go and get surfed. <sighs> and then we got this dude. We could, we could leap to there and absolutely 100%. We still get two dice. Leap to there, re-roll it, because we've got the chance to re-roll it. So we need to sort out some of this mess first, because we need to sort this out, don't we? So he's gone for the one dice with the tree. Fantastic. So he's trying to sort out the tree problem. But we don't care. I think we stand up poor old scout number two. And him still one dice. So uh, I think we that scares me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can afford to for him to go there. No, we don't need to do anything with him yet. No, I think we have to leap him over. So, dodge with dodge. Hey. 
the leap goes to here hit him there for two dice or we can leap to there and we get two dice do we, do we want to do anything else first do we want him back here or just we do we do don't we just to get in a mix really we do we want him in the mix right so let's get this sorted otherwise it's not going to happen is it so we blitz so we definitely blitz we blitz we leap to here we re-roll any fail we don't get the two dice on the white get the hit this doesn't really matter if it bobbles too much stay out of surf range that's fine because that plays into our hands Scarlock then becomes the pickup dice four plus three plus catch fuck it we do it sweet as a nut bruv in it so now we can dodge 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 and then get to what here Let's just dodge to start with, shall we? Bit of a potato. I think I have to use my reroll for that, don't we? And then we just kind of use. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Okay, we don't. Shit, I should have. Oh, damn it, never mind. And to be honest, this is just. That was just. Uh, we'll just um, deny them the ball rather than anything else. So we've got a mess here to sort out. That's not a mess to sort out. That's a fairly easy mess to sort out, but I think we had to at least give it a fair shake. Because if we go three nil up in the in the in my turn, we've definitely won the game. Because he can't score three, he won't be able to score three goals in 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 that. He can try and one turn it next turn, I suppose. Yeah. So he's got to try and get the ball off Dylan Wan. I, I wish I'd managed to get him out. I, I kind of didn't see that really. I should have just dodged out and done it. But at least that takes him out. I wish I'd managed to stand up my tree. That would have been awesome. But not to be. So he just pushes and kills this one. Pushes and kills this one. Tries to surf the catcher. Or tries to stop the score. He's got to try and stop the score. Because if he doesn't, he loses the game. Oh! Okay, that was a risk. I don't think I'd taken that risk. Because that zombie really should have hit him. He's now got a dodge to do that. So those were risks I wouldn't have taken. There we go. So it's a 2 plus dodge. Push, push. 
now into two and he manages to get the knockdown maybe that's what he's looking for is the the two plus pickup with him okay so he manages to knock down my lino and break armor and the ball goes on the golem <laughs> but he can do a handoff which is not what we need at all is it really because then he can throw so we need to to knock down the golem um we've got a strip ball actually so do we need to do that he's going to come forward with his tackle yes he is um, and he gets through and he injures my player it was about time i got injured uh we can't be doing with a, an agility break so we join the substitutes i can't be i can't have a nerf to catch her so now it's squeaky bum time for the second half with his mighty blow player and obviously now he's going to kill the next person he hits he's going to kill isn't it it's going to be one of my war dancers so now he's got to try and protect the golem that's what he's got to try and do is protect that golem and he gets the hit Poor old Denala's going to take a punch in the face. Yeah, I can't have an Agi 3 catcher. So it had to be really. So there we go. And he's injured himself with his zombie hit. And he doesn't regen it either. So that's annoying because my strip ball is now marked by, uh, by a tackle dude. So that is annoying. There we go. He doesn't. He stays on the deck. Uh, he's down. I'm not sure how I can get extra hits on him. In fact, I know I can't. So I think what we do then. is smack the ghoul up it's got to be the ghoul that takes the hit because he was the one who can score i'll do that in a minute He's the next target, isn't he? Because he can score. And he can go there. We'll stay where we are. So he gets a smack. He can't score, so he can't score. Oh, I forgot about this dude, Scarlet. He's right down here. Um, go to there. Uh, this doesn't really matter because dodge is without dodge, but we definitely don't want them getting a punt in, so I think we can go here. They can't because he's got tackle. That's fine. He's going to have to hand off and throw, so this really is not mess of issue, I don't think. There we go, I was hoping for the 3 0 um, before close of play, but uh, for before half time. But I didn't. I've had to use my Apo, which is a shit, really. So he's going to try and mighty blow my War Dancer, I guess, just to try and remove him. Not going to score, is he? Hand off to the Wolf. You can hand off to the wolf if you like, but then you're going to have to throw to the ghoul who needs to be here. <laughs> That's the play I would have made. 
that's good. He's going to re-roll. No, he can't because he hasn't got any re-rolls. So this is stuck where he is now. He hasn't got the agility to get through. Uh, he can foul a dude, I guess. I don't know if I'd try and foul the... Oh! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's so funny. Who knew Frankenstein was a bloody pass that was a thrower? Right, uh, mate, that is so brilliant, the fact that the golem threw the ball. Okay, I don't get all 11 back, which is a shame. That's annoying. Um, there we go. We definitely don't want a war dancer on the line. So we'll move him out. And he can go there. And he can go there. And that's a shame. Right, and Guy is kind of sitting there. Um, to be honest, we don't need to do that, so we can put him there. It's still threatening that flank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can still hit guys if we need to. Actually, we'll probably go for that column. Always oh, mighty blow, dude. Actually, sounds better, but. It'll only be a single dice hit if we do that. Okay. I can't remember who threw it now, which one it was. I have a Doom Nick. It might have been Doom Nick with his glasses. Or his metal visor face, whatever. That's actually hilarious. I love that. That was brilliant. Uh, right, so we have got a player on him still. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Yeah, because he didn't have a bench, did he? So, and nor did we. So it's ten versus nine, but he's still got that mighty blow and that dirty player. So we're still worried about those guys doing some damage. He's still got all that agi as well. So it's by no means a given if he starts to snowball my uh, my elves away. Um, then uh, then it could be in lots of trouble. So let's do the same, because that kind of worked out for us a little bit. So that's a bit more central with Kick. Kick's not been very brilliant, but... So Quick Snap for him is good, because it means he can move some people in if he wants to, and move some people out if he wants to. Is he going to start tumbling down this side again and try and get round us? If he does, we've got our frenzy guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can get here. We can actually surf from that square. Maybe I should have gone to this square here. And then I could have surfed to both sides. But. We'll see. So he's got back to three re-rolls. It's a good hit. And gets my Lino down and dead. And in comes the Flesh Golem as well. Four or five. We can't get three dice on the deal, so... This is the Blitz, or is this the Blitz? It's got to be Blitz with Mighty Blow every time. I, you know, I don't know why anyone wouldn't... So I guess he's the Blitz target there. His Glam, son of Glam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can frenzy him if he doesn't. If he if he stays where he is. And we can try it all. And if he fluffs this and gets a one in nine and doesn't re-roll it, we can surf the golem. 
so he does get a hit because he's got tackle. Mighty blow on Glam. Well, he goes for armor. Tonya stun on Glam. And he has come through, so we can try to surf the. Oh, we can't surf because we can't get that here. What a shame because that. Crack is a lovely T shape, so we're looking to surf him, but we can't. That is a pity. Because it'll be there, there, or there, wouldn't it? And that'd be. That's a shame. That's a shame. But we can go for the. Oh, we've got Frenzy, though, haven't we? So maybe if we fill some squares back here. Oh, he's got tackle, hasn't he? Well, that's a shame. So we can push him to there and there and there. So if we fill this one and this one. That's a lot of effort and then you can counter surf me so it's not great is it. I think what we do is we hit here and try and get rid of the mighty blow instead. Okay so the encouragement is still to come down this side so that hasn't changed at all so that's fine we've got a hit here it'll take three people to do it we don't have a hit here we can get the golem for two dice that's the blitz A hit. And that's another hit, isn't it? So maybe we do. This. Mm, Scarlet. It's not too bad. Still looks like he can, he can try and come around here because this is where he's stronger actually. We don't really want that, do we? So we can use some of these guys to push our dude off now. So we've got block against no block here. So he's going to have to reinforce that if he wants to do anything. This is a pain because he's a revolving guy, but is he going to do the blitz here? I think I would be tempted to do the blitz here and get the ghoul in here, blitz here, and then move this guy through as a threat and have him round here somewhere, or maybe just cancel out a few of these tackle zones so your golem can get a hit. Isn't putting too many things on him to do, really. And that's the thing. There's too many different things he needs to do.
this is the last thing I wanted was this tied up but to be fair it does tie up one of his guard columns so that's fine we can try and have overrun the rest of them but he's the target still because he's, dast he's dastardly and then these claw guys can they're kind of being ball carriers I think I'd have made him the ball carrier and use them as the, the, the sort of threats really Yeah, tags him out, tags him out, and then he's got two dice against one of the catchers, and it'll have to be him because he's got no block. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to strengthen this side. That's fine, that's what we want, isn't it? We get him back in a minute. If we can squeeze him down the side, we can stop him scoring. He didn't blitz with his mighty blow. That's huge for us because we can get that hit back and surf him. Let's go. Boom, boom to there. So what's he going to do with his goal? We can try and get rid of this piece. I think it's worth concentrating some people on this piece here. So we can get him surfed. He's going to bring it, you know, I think that's great, brilliant, because we can use whatever pieces we've got here to surf him and him potentially. So we can push. To there. Great. Hopefully a movie's cool. With any luck, he would move his ghoul. And if he could just move his ghoul away, that'd be amazing. Vake, if you're listening and you're not, I know you've only got eight seconds left, so panic and move that ghoul. The moment that ghoul is saving your career. No, okay, he hasn't done anything at all. Okay, okay, that's not ideal, but it's not horrible. So can we surf these guys? I think we can. We're kind of reliant on a bit here. Two dice to hit him to there, but we don't want that. We want two dice to hit him there. So boom, boom, boom. Kind of depends on that being hit, doesn't it? So that's fine. He'll stand firm there, I would. I would. <clears throat> Otherwise I am going to follow up and get two dice on the... Oh, that's helpful. Now this, if I fluff this, this is the problem. I don't want to fluff this. I can't get three dice on him. Because I need to get to to nine and I can't do that and I don't want to spend resources on nine that's one dice at the moment two dice if I kind of get him to there but I can't really perfect that's just what we needed so boom we can get him to there can't we potentially get all of them.
So it's the ghoul bomb. Shame we didn't get the uh, mighty blow guy, but I'll take that. And now he can go over here. And we can get him. It's a lot of resources, but I think we can get rid of that guy as well. Follow that up. And then we just squeeze him a little bit further there, don't we? Because then you can try and surf him. That's fine. Once we got rid of this dude, we can bring others down. There we go. So that's fine. There's a lot of resources to get rid of one ghoul, but it didn't really. That would have been nice to get a knockdown there. Needed to hit him here, really, because then I could have just gone straight up with him. Should have got him there, but I'm so worried about the sidelines. Here he comes. This is going to try and surf. Well, you can't surf him, so that's fine. And then I'll just try and dodge him out anyway. That's fine by me. He's taking a hit. I think I would as well, because he's not going to surf me. And that's a good hit. And then this comes down to here, and then we have got still got some wicked quick guys just to hit whatever, haven't we? So he can come there, that's it, and he's ready to score next turn. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's got to try and dodge away. He's not going to be able to because he's going to fail that. He's going to go for the hit. Nope, nope. Where he does, he either uphills, and I've got block versus block, or he tries to dodge away. Uh, either way, he's on the deck and I'm not worried. And then we move some of our wickedly quick guys over to take up this wolf and then try and get some tackle zones on that wolf as well. There he goes. I wouldn't waste any more resources on him. That's it. Perfect. So uh, what we're going to have to do then is we need some wicked luck here, really. But we've got some stupidly quick people. Obviously we don't want to have to re-roll anything at the moment. I think we do this and re-roll it if we need to. We don't. Obviously we'll follow that up to get the wolf down. He's got side steps, so that's fine by us. Uh, so, do we take this one again? We don't want to have too many people down on the deck, do we? So we tag him out. We tag him out. And then we hope for the best. 
One in nine, perfect, it's fine, he goes down. I go down, that's fine. This is irritating, but we have got a side stepper, so that will be more irritating for him, I think. So he, he's got to be the... I was just right. Oh, he's got to tackle us of course. So I sidestep to here. Still a 3 plus for him to dodge. Oh no, it's 2 plus for him to dodge out, isn't it? I should have gone there. Should have gone there. And well played. From Dexter, well done. Still two injured. I still my one knocked out, obviously. I don't get him back, obviously. Uh, so we've got five turns. I think I still gotta try and get the quick score. He can't cover as many places now. If he leaves the flank open, I've got to go down it. If not, I go through the middle. I think I'll go through the middle this time. Try and get... I've got no guard, that's the problem. I think what we do is we just... Blitz through here with our frenzy blitzer. No, no, not with him, with him. So we have and then we've got to come through the middle basically, haven't we? I think we blitz through here and then go to here, he goes to there and then we get people in the middle, all of our catches in the middle, one with the ball. <clears throat> oh come on, okay that's not too bad, pity about Scarlet of course, so we aim for the wolf instead. I think he's our pickup. No. Yeah, okay. So
Right, so that's the ball in play. We can get all the way over here. We just need to stop him from getting all the way over there. So there's our screen on the screen. You can't get anyone else closer. They're kind of safe there. Okay, so it wasn't too bad actually. Just Scarlet took the hit. Got four turns. Four turns to score. I think I just score. No messing about, just score. She could do with the SPP to be fair. I'm not gonna. Sadly, I'm not gonna be able to. Um, oh, come on. Okay, it's 3 plus, 3 plus. Yep. I have got tackle, but that doesn't matter because he's not got dodge, so he's got the one re-roll to do it with I suppose what does it really hurt the desperate screening of a it's got a 3 plus dodge to do it though isn't he 3 plus dodge 3 plus dodge to get somewhere he's trying to get extra people on the ball I'm not sure I would bother this is it's two dice here if he gets a, any strength 3 player over there he's got a two dice here isn't he So, yeah, 3 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then, yeah, so 3 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, and then 2 dice hit with tackle. But then I just smash him and pick him up and then hit it with this one instead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sprint, sprint. So he is he's covering his bases, isn't he? Which is the right thing to do. I would probably tag this dude out, just to make it harder. If he's going to do it. Three plus, three plus, two plus, two plus, dodge. Yeah, there's the tackle, the, the tag out. I'm a bit screwed otherwise. Uh, what's he going to do with this? I won't do anything with him if I was you. What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't need the extra. Do Just do the 3 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. I don't want to say that anymore. I'm not going to do it. Just do the, the wolf. If you want to do the wolf strike to try and save the game, do it. Holy shiz buckets. He doesn't want to do that. No. And then it's a go for it. And he fucking gets it as well. Disgusting. Fucking disgusting. Well played. Absolutely disgusting, but well played. And doesn't help you at all, because now I'm here. Oh, you foul, foul creature. And he doesn't make that. That's what he rerolls. Oh, absolute pain in the ass. Oh, come on. Seriously. Now what? Oh, you 
motherfucker. That is so irritating. I cannot believe he got that. That was jammy as fuck. Jammy as fuck. So I've got my Lino there. He can do the hit, but I don't want him to. That is so jammy. I don't even know how to describe how jammy that is. Good hit. So now what do I do? Dodge, dodge. to him. Lona over there because we don't care about him. Could have re-roll this if we need to, but we don't. And we level spirits. Uh, he's a bit of a potato. Hang on. Uh, so we can't score with him. So we just hit him out. Let me take this. Make life miserable for him. Make it but it's lots of re-rolls so he can't actually hit him so lots of people in place he can dodge around and all that kind of stuff but I've got tackle on him tackle doesn't mean anything though I should have gone here never mind shame we didn't break his armor really don't know why I'm pointing this guy's armor So you can get lots of bodies on me, but we can score with Glam. We don't want to score with the loner. Any hit against her will push her this way, because that's where I can go, and then I can do the sprint run if I need to. But I'd rather hand off and and let Glam have some points. At least we've levelled one player today, two players today, if they survive. So this cop one is helping us with that. I'd really, really love to skill that bloody tree up, get a block on it, it'd be amazing. Nice if it gets MVP, not bloody uh, Lino. Although potentially we might buy the Lino if we get some MVP. So it's going to be another one of those spawny dodges, isn't it? Three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, or three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a lot of dodges and a lot of dice rolled again. 
because he's just going to go for the dancer hit. And then I just run into the corner. Because scoring now, uh, or scoring in my next turn, will definitely win me the game. So, no block versus block with two dice. That's good for me. Is he going to re-roll it? I'm going to take the sidestep to there, which puts us in scoring range. It is a dodge to get out and then some sprinting, but we can do it. Whatever he does, we can get him down to there, maybe. Right. What's he going to do with this wolf? He's got 40 seconds to decide. He is going to go for the dodges and try and get tackle onto him. In which case we're going to have to use our blitz to blitz him off. And then use our dodge to do the rest. If he puts him there, we're definitely going to surf that wolf. I can't be doing with it. He needs to be surfed. And we'll use this lino to provide the assist. So he is going to go for it. If he if he does this, I can't hope he does, because we're going to surf him off with our frenzy. And then he's going to do that as well. Isn't he? doesn't get the right okay so that's good for us that's good for us so I think what we have to do is we have to get him there ready for the surf the surf is with the frenzy elf excuse me I thought he tagged him out and then he can go there Connie That's a pity. I didn't really want to do anything but hurt him. We definitely don't want him on the sidelines. So. That's the call. On to him. thrower. We definitely can't afford to fuck around. Scarlock needed that. Three scoring threats in that side. Not got an easy run to get to me there, is he? Not got an amazing run to get to me there. Okay, I'd rather have the tree standing. So I've got two scoring threats. I've got my catcher and I've got my war dancer. Actually, I've got three because I've got my loner as well. Um, but we can also get this one into a scoring position and this one into a scoring position. This one then can protect. Scarlet. I've got no rerolls left. He's got two.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Scarlet can't make it on his own, but he can throw it. I'd love to throw it to a catcher. Because that would make things a little easier with the guaranteed re-rolled catch, re-rolled throw. Because no my luck, there will be some ones in there somewhere. So what's he going to do? Four, five, six. He can do a one die against him, and that'll free up the zombie. One, two, three, four. Go for it with plus one. Mate, I'm happy to get it over here. To be honest, I don't need to score. I do not need to score. Or I can come here, hand off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sort throw over to here. Do you know what I mean? I've got options here. I'd rather throw it with Scarlet. Obviously, because of the built-in re-roll. Um, and obviously, I'd love to get the star player point on Scarlet himself. As I really want him to get something else. Maybe accurate, just to get those longer passes a bit more guaranteed. This is dodgy. But it's fine. Uh, so, I think we... Go here. So he's done that to get a tackle zone on him. And then he's going to try and do that to get another tackle zone on him. So this is the blitz then, isn't it? So he, he, he manages to sneak it, which is a bit rude. So is he going to add so he can get the zombie free? He is two dice to get the zombie free which he does um, firm, I think. and he either dirty plays him or he comes in here which is what he's going to do that's fine so what we can do is hit him instead so we can get our lino here hit him no, because we don't want to push it. We want to push him off, don't we? So we need to hit him. We're not going to get enough people on it to do it. So instead, we're going to have to just hit him and then hit him. Hmm, it's a bit of a thorny one, isn't it? I'm going to have to just do it, aren't I? I think. I don't think I've got any choice, I'm going to have to do it with him. Whoa. 
Elf doing elf things, definitely pass. Don't do double one. Thank you, Scarlet. I gotta do it for the win. He's got one turn. I had to do it, it you know. Uh, I could have tried to stall out uh, and maybe not get hurt. Um, I don't think that would have been possible. So I had to. I had to basically. So we'll put some fodder on the line. He can still go for my tree. He can still go for all these folks and hurt them. I know he can. He can most definitely try in 110. But it'll be a bit more difficult. Like that. Um, because the tree, uh, he can try and sneak by, but I think he'll just go for damage. I've de I mean, obviously, I've definitely won the game. Well, we don't talk to him just yet. He's obviously not talking. I mean, to be fair, did I get lucky with the two injuries? Yes, definitely. Um, I think I worked worked for those goals. I think I worked for those touchdowns. I don't think I don't deserve them. Definitely, I definitely don't think I don't deserve them. Um, so, you know, I worked for them. Uh, his team is vi is violently awful if it works so he's got a mighty blow hit here, here which scares me i'm hoping he doesn't get too vindictive and just go for i mean if he wants to just go for the loners that's absolutely fine but i'd rather not lose a positional because obviously i've used the apo to keep my catcher in which was the right thing to do because he scored twice um and um and thrown the ball as well so he's going to level nicely so it was worth it uh, and it would have broken his neck. If it was a badly hurt, I wouldn't have done it, so I'd have just let him go off. So actually, the kind of broken neck agility thing did me a favour, and the Apo did the right thing and caught him into the substitutes, which is good. I just now hope he doesn't punish me by killing one of my positionals. be interesting to see what he does. I don't know what he's going to do. He has a position himself for a one turn. He's got to try and get Kaz with him, that has to be the hit. I would do it here because I'm oh, nice and I'd throw the blocks at the owner. So I don't know what he's going to do. At the moment I don't think he knows what he's going to do. He spent a minute and a half thinking about it. Uh, So we'll just see. All right. So far he's done nothing. He can he can get a one die here, or add an extra here and get two die, or come round here and mighty blow. I would do that. Just put him there and mighty blow. I'm not going to score again. So there's no point in getting. You know he can't reach anywhere. I suppose I should have left a scoring threat really and had him here somewhere, but I have heard of it. So I would just try for the mighty blow Kaz, and because I'm nice, I'll do it against my loner. 26 seconds. Twenty seconds, he really is just pulling that out, I don't know why. Um has he just gone? He's just not doing anything. Okay, mate. I mean, you know, that's fine, but... It's... 
Excuse me? What what happened there? Because I still had a turn. Oh, of course he gets it. Oh, fuck it. What happened at the end? I'll have to watch that back. Cause it wasn't my go, was it? It was definitely his go. Okay, uh, so yeah, I did better than he did, basically. Um, all of my stuff worked and his didn't. Not more, more to say, really. Um, I'm a little, little bit... Um, non plus as to what happened at the end I'm pretty sure it wasn't my go so I will look at it at the end of the game um, and find out I'm going to do my levels afterwards as well because I do um, want to go and get some lunch and have some time with my wife so um, thanks very much for watching my name is Andy from Dogobo's Grotto um, and I'll see you next time